All right, what's going on guys? Uh, today we're gonna be doing a rear differential fluid change in my FJ Cruiser. I'm gonna show you how to do it so you can do it at home as well, what parts you need, what tools you'll need, and what lube I'm using. Uh, that's personal preference. You can choose whatever you want. I'm gonna be doing the entire drive line from the rear diff to the transfer case to the actual manual transmission itself and then to the front diff and then also an engine oil change. Um, so this is going to be about a four part series. I'm going to do each one in a separate video. Um, so for this, uh, today we're going to do the rear diff and I'm going to show you how to do that correctly. Okay guys, so before you start, you're going to want to make sure you have the basics. Uh, you're going to want a socket wrench with a 24 millimeter, um, socket. You're going to want to make sure you have replacement gaskets in case yours are messed up. This is for the entire drive line, but for the rear diff you only need two. You want to make sure you get some lube. I'm using Royal Purple Max Gear 7590 Full Synthetic. You're going to need one and a half quarts, so I have two. Um, and you're also going to need something to drain the old oil in. Okay, so once you're under the rear of the truck, there's a fill bolt and a drain bolt. What you're going to want to do is make sure you can crack the fill bolt loose first because if you drain the oil and you can't get the fill bolt open, you won't be able to fill the diff back up, which is bad news. You're also gonna wanna run your truck for about 30 minutes to get this oil warm so it helps drain. And then you're just gonna put your pan here, obviously in the drain bolt, and then you're gonna start removing the nuts. I'm gonna do that now. There we go. That cracked loose. You should hear some air come out. So anyways, now that we know that that can be loosened, we can go ahead and loosen the drain bolt. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can crack this loose. I think I got it there, or I just stripped it, one of the two. Nope, we are good. So let me just get the camera to focus. So this should loosen now. And you're just going to make sure your pan is ready to catch the oil. This should be magnetic. There's a difference between the two. Oh, you know what? My diff oil looks pretty good. So you're just going to let that drain now. And you can see. Oh, the camera focus. There's some sludge. I do do some pretty heavy off-roading, so that's to be expected. It's just debris from the gears. Make sure you clean that off. And then we'll get ready to install our new oil. Hey okay, guys, I just want to show you some. There's a lot of foam in the actual oil itself and uh, I don't know if this has ever been, been done by the previous owner but I can tell you right now that there's a lot of metallic flakes in there and what scares me the most is that that is way too much oil to be in a diff. It's only supposed to take a quart and a half. That looks about like three quarts. So either water was getting in um, through the diff breather or whoever filled it way overfilled it this didn't even have a gasket and neither did that so just something to be mindful of um, I've cleaned off the magnetic plug and I'm gonna put the gaskets on we install the fill bolt sorry drain bolt and then we can start pumping in the new stuff okay so with our drain bolt and new washer installed we are ready to install the new washer on the fill bolt as you can see there's a new crush washer there and then what we're going to do now is start filling the diff. I recommend you clean the surface from any oil so that you know if it's leaking. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your synthetic Royal Purple 7590, cut the top off, and then we're going to start pumping it in. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I've cut the top off. We're going to insert the bottle like this, and you're just going to start pumping. It's hard to do this with one hand, so you're going to put the camera down and I'll let you know when I'm on the second model or when you know it's full. Okay, so this is the second model. It takes one and a half quarts. Each one of these bottles is a quart. You'll hear the bottle make some funny noises like that. <laughs> now, once you start to come back into the diff, you, you know it's full. Okay, so it started to drain back out of here, and that's how we know it's full. I checked it with the uh, flashlight to see the sight level. Uh, you're going to reinstall your bolt and new washer, and now you're going to torque both these to 26 foot-pounds. 
and that's it that's a job well done and we can move on to the next step which will be I guess the transfer case but that will be another video